Hi, this is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com and we're going to take a look at the Hardwire HT6 Polyphonic Tuner. The pedal comes in a pretty rugged steel construction with a large foot switch and a very bright display. On the front of the pedal there are two buttons. There's a tuning button which switches between drop D, standard guitar tuning, four, five, and six string bass settings and a mode button which switches between normal mode and strobe mode depending on what your preference is for a single note display. On the top of the pedal there's options to use a power supply, 9 volt DC, and to also have it power some of your other pedals. On this side there's a USB input to, uh, so you're able to update the pedal's firmware if any other options uh, become available. So there are two main display modes uh, with the HT6. There is strobe mode which can be turned on by hitting this button on the right, so it says STRB. When you pluck a note, the LED displays much like any other strobe tuner pedal, and the idea is that you want to, when it stops, when the line, the horizontal line stops, is you're in tune. In normal mode, when you pluck a note, the idea is that you want that the LED to be in the, in the center of the display, and it turns blue when the note is in tune. So the idea behind a polyphonic tuner is that it's able to detect the pitches of all six strings at the same time. So for example, if you have one or two strings that are out of tune and you're trying to find quickly which ones they are, you simply strum all the open strings and the display in a normal style setting will tell you which strings are sharp and which strings are flat. Here it tells me that my G string is really flat. So I'm gonna tune that up until it is right in the middle. And the idea is that when all six strings are in tune, or four or five strings if you're on the bass setting, that the blue lights run all the way down the center. But if I wanted to just check one string at a time, I pluck it and the note shows up in the display. One of the presets that comes shipped with the HT6 is a drop D setting. And to access that, you push the tuning button until it shows up drop D. And what that does is that sets the polyphonic setting so when you strum all, op all six open strings, it'll tune it to a drop D tuning. One of the cooler features is the fret offset feature. It allows, if you're using a capo, to program the polyphonic setting to recognize that capo and also to program it using drop tunings. So to activate the fret offset feature, what I've done is I've put a capo at the third fret of my guitar and what I do is I hold down the pedal and the word fret comes up and then I strum all six open strings. And it automatically detects that I'm at the third fret and then I'm able to fine tune using the polyphonic setting. Not only can the HT6's fret offset feature work great for capos, but also if your band typically tunes a half step or a whole step down, it can work great for drop tunings as well, as long as you still remain in standard tuning. So to use the fret offset feature for drop tunings, you do the same thing as before. You hold down the pedal. We want to adjust it so it's a negative one, which means one half step below standard. Like the other polyphonic modes, once all the blue lights are in the center, it's in tune. Now the one thing with this is when we switch to a single note, it will still register the actual pitch of the note, in this case, F sharp or G flat. So if you'd like to read my review of the HT6, check out the July 2011 issue of Premier Guitar, or you can read it online at PremierGuitar.com. I'm Jason Shadrick for PremierGuitar.com.